you guys what is up uh happy monday i hope you guys are having a great week whatever day you're watching this i just got back from my wonderful little vacation out on the houseboat and um just from easter vacation and all of that and um i feel really energized and rejuvenated even though i was so 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 tired <laughs> um just traveling so much and doing so much out on the water and chasing cheyenne around and all of that so um i feel a little bit energized i took it pretty easy last night on easter and um now i am getting organized but i've been needing to print out some new planner pages because i i have searched for planners for so long and i never i always buy one and i never end up using it it doesn't have what really makes me efficient and i just get sick of whatever it's telling me to write so I'm actually planning out um, my own planner that I'm designing. <laughs> so I have this um, notebook that I love and I just use it for everything because you can fit everything in it. It's kind of like a fake leather type thing. I got it on sale from uh, Staples from the Martha Stewart section. Um, they always have really nice like desk things and stationery. And um, so since that's a three ring binder, I can just print out my own and why not just have it like tailored to me. So um, I'm working on what I want to have in it. And I think that'll help me be a lot more efficient. So I'll show you guys the finished product when it's done. And I've got a quick modeling tip for you guys. I always try to sneak these into my vlogs. Um, I was just contacted by a hair salon that is going to be participating in a film festival doing some sort of event for a party or something like that. Um, and they wanted to know if I would be a hair model for them. So I want to make a quick tip about um, if you've never modeled before and you want to get into modeling, this is a great way to get into it. And if you are a model and you're either a paid model and you have trouble saying no to people or if you're trying to get more into paid modeling and trying to figure out what's worth it for you to do for free or not. If you want to try out modeling, there are a lot of great places that you can kind of dip your toe in the water and get some practice and see what it's like. Hair salons are a great place to start. If you already have a hair salon, you can always ask them or you can contact other hair salons in your area and tell them that you're interested in being a hair model, which would be, um, you could either be an in-salon model, like to help people learn for demonstrations. You might work at a hair show or you might be a part of a fashion show for an event or something like that. These are usually for free and you sometimes might get a hair service if you're being a, a hair model to teach um, other hairstylists. They might do something like give you a cut or give you a color. The teacher of the class will always be the one who ends up doing your hair. So even though they're showing other people, um, you know, you actually end up getting a, an expert hair person to do your hair. So that's nice. Um, I have a lot of other ideas for that, so if you guys are curious about that, put it in the comments, um, and maybe I can do a separate video of like how to dip your toe in the industry or something. Um, but secondly, uh, when you are an artist of any kind, as I'm sure you know if you are one, you get asked to do free work all the time. And um, <laughs> it's just, that's sort of just a s struggle um, that people just don't realize when you do things like take pictures or model or right or all these different things that it takes your time and your resources and that it is your business um, and just because it's easy for you or you're good at it it doesn't mean that um, it's necessarily free for you to do or that you want to be doing that service for free for everybody that you know because if you do that then you won't have a job <laughs> a lot of people that I've talked to especially because a lot of models are young women or young girls um, they have trouble saying no or knowing how to be polite when people ask them to do things that they don't want to do. Some things are worth doing for free or for trade with somebody who has uh, complementary skills that will really bring something to your portfolio like a photographer, a stylist, or somebody that you really want to work with. If you're asked to do something for free that you're not interested in, just don't feel bad saying no. Um, just be polite and say thank you for thinking of me, but I only take paid assignments. Um, and that's, that's all. You don't have to worry about hurting somebody's feelings or that they won't like you or that you'll miss out if you don't do free work because people who are going to pay, they're paying almost all the time. So the worlds that you get into when you start doing a lot of free work 
it's good for experience and a few connections, but it often doesn't lead to any paid work. So that's not something that you have to keep chasing after in order to get paid work. So I said that was going to be a quick tip. I'm not going to turn this into a whole video about it, but if you want me to, let me know and I'll give you some more information. But yeah, just be strong, be polite, and just say, I don't have time to work for free, basically. Um, and they are bu usually businesses too, so they should respect that. And I remember today and I started laughing at myself because I got this like when Titanic came out. So I was in third grade and I was nine years old. Hey, Luca, what are you doing? Um, and <laughs> she wants to be. And I remembered this today and I haven't thought of it in so, so, so long. But after Titanic was really popular and then all the kids kind of made fun of it, like, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio is gay. I remember them all saying that and they like didn't even know what gay was. And so then, after that, I like hid it down inside of a drawer because I was embarrassed that I had the shirt, but I liked it so much. And it ended up being hidden there long enough, thank goodness, that um, one, I realized that I can wear whatever I want and that's just stupid. But also, this is actually popular now and I had a picture of it somewhere and it got so many likes and everyone's like, I love your shirt, I love that movie. So if you're a little kid and you think like, Oh man, everyone thinks I'm lame for liking something. Just wait till you get a little bit older and then you'll just feel awesome for having it. So I'm really glad that it survived. <laughs> Good? That's cool. <gasps> man, this is awesome. I totally did not know that they had really, really cool and different coloring books. And I definitely want to get some for Cheyenne, but also for myself. Hey guys, I'm super tired. I just finished, um, I don't know. I just finished my day. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, I just opened up my little microns. I almost forgot that I got them, but I'm so excited that I got them. So I started messing around with a little bit of lettering that I'm going to use for my planner. It's just, seriously, like just preliminary. I uploaded this video a little bit earlier today, but I just got it all promoted everywhere. So, oh, happy to be done with that. And it just feels really good to just share that stuff with you guys. And I'm really enjoying vlogging. So, um, I hope you guys will go watch that and leave me some love in the comments because I always try to answer as many as I can. Today was a very good Monday back, um, very, not really hectic, but just getting a lot of things done, so that's great, um, but it's now midnight, so I'm going to go take a shower and get to bed, so I hope that you guys are having a great week, I hope you're making happen whatever it is that you want, don't forget to like and share this video so it can go farther, and if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, please remember to subscribe so you can get all of my videos in your inbox and you guys can help me get closer to 10,000 subs. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.